As seniors at Marjorie jo uh, Stoneman Douglas walk across the stage to graduate here in just a few hours, four of them are going to be missing. So we want to remember them. Meadow Pollock, Nicholas Dwaret, Carmen Shentrup, and Joaquin Oliver. They were killed along with 13 others in the Parkland shooting back in February. And since then, so many of their classmates have been working to try to prevent shootings from continuing. Well, their activism has inspired a financial boost. Here's what we're talking about, a $50 million initiative from the Laura and John Arnold Foundation designed to fund research into gun violence. Jeremy Travis is with us. He's the executive vice president of criminal justice at the foundation. Jeremy, thank you so much for being with us. What specifically inspired this foundation to take this, take this route? Well, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. uh, we, like most Americans, I think we're quite uh, stunned by the events in uh, Parkland and inspired by the uh, students and their activism. And within our foundation, uh, we had a discussion uh, initiated by Laura and John Arnold, our co-founders, as to what we could do. And we're a foundation, a relatively new foundation based in Houston that funds research and uh, data and evidence. And we b believe that uh, producing good research can improve policy. So we looked around and realized that, unfortunately, for uh, many years, more than two decades, the research on gun violence has been, uh, has been stymied by the inability of our federal government to, uh, to fund research uh, through the normal research institute. So we decided to step up uh, and announced uh, last week that we were making a $20 million commitment from our foundation, asking others to join us to bring together a total uh, fund of $50 million to fund research on this uh, public health crisis that is really, uh, has really rocked our country. Well, and part of the need for this uh, is because the, dollar, the dollars are lacking because of Congress just can't do anything about this. Is that what I understand because of current laws uh, that have taken place and that have, have pulled some of the resources from the CDC? Yeah, if we go back in our history to 1996, uh, Congress passed a, uh, a provision called the Dickey Amendment, which uh, prohibits the Centers for Disease Control from engaging in uh, advocacy uh, on behalf of gun control. Mm -hmm. And that was interpreted wrongly, we think, to prohibit the Centers for Disease Control from conducting research on gun violence. There's recently been a modification of that understanding in the most recent budget that says that actually the Secretary of Health and Human Services can authorize that research. So there are reasons to be uh, cautiously optimistic that maybe there's some movement. But let's put this in perspective. Uh, last year, in the budget now in place, our g Congress, through bipartisan uh, enactment, uh, increased the research budget of the National Institutes of Health by $4 billion. Uh, we added another $100 million for research uh, on, uh, on uh, uh, flu vaccine, another $400 mm -hmm. million for Alzheimer's. So we can do this. We know how to fund research to improve policy on a health crisis. Uh, but there is a stalemate in Washington. And our hope in, in this way that we are trying to draw attention to this is that this will help the government move in that direction. Jeremy, of, I only have a minute left and I want to get this question out to you. I know that you're a nonpartisan group. What specific answers are you looking for when it comes to you know, what, when we say gun violence, a study on that? That's very broad. Specifically, what kind of research are you looking for? We want to fund research that will help us develop policies to reduce both homicides and suicides. Two-thirds of all gun deaths are suicides. Mm -hmm. We don't have a particular agenda. That's just the point. We want to find the way towards developing research that will promote policy that will save lives. All right. Jeremy Travis, we appreciate you being here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm.